what is what you mean and what we mean by dividends must be sure have a concept of the share set dividends okay now you see whenever the person or any company or any other group of person they want to set up some company uh, for some for the for the purpose of uh, business or they want to expand their business and For the entrepreneur who is going to uh, establish such a company, he requires a lot of money, large sum of money is required. So generally it is not possible for any single person to uh, manage such huge sums of money because he may not have that amount of money with him or even banks may not provide uh, so much of door to set up such big companies. So therefore, this money is collected from the other people. People is what it can be collected from me, it can be collected from you, it can be collected from uh, the person's friends and other people who are interested in the company. But for doing so, the person will have to take permission of the government. And once the government gives permission to collect such uh, to collect money from the common people or for the persons who are involved in the business, then these people or the, or the persons who give money, who invest money into the company, they are called shareholders. So once someone is someone is investing something, some, some person is giving some money to the, to the company, the person who gives the money is called a shareholder and, in, and, and the uh, parts uh, and the certificate that person gets uh, about the investment in the uh, is called a uh, is called a share. The amount the, that means the amount of money that is invested by any person in the company is uh, uh, written in a piece of paper known as a uh, share certificate, and is called a share. Minimum value at which it is being decided by the company or the or the chairman or the uh, managers of the company. That means the company uh, is run by a group of people who uh, uh, are the directors of the company. They are the chairman of the company. They may be the uh, owner, owners in any form. So these people uh, they decide what should be the minimum value of one share of the company. They can decide it 1 rupee or even 2 rupee or 10 rupee or 15 rupee or 20 rupee. Whatever they decide, the value of the share is, the, is called the face value of the share or it is called the nominal value of the share. So face value or nominal value, it is the price of one share as decided by the promoters of the company. That means the persons who promote, who run the company, they decide what should be the value of one share uh, of the company. So this value of one share That's as decided way. by the That's company is called face value or it is called nominal value. In short, we write face value as F dot V dot or nominal value as NV. So, you see, suppose a man wants uh, uh, the face of one share of a company is 10 rupees and a man, man purchased 10 shares. That means face value of 10 shares is 100 rupees. So, this face value of 10 shares, which is 100 rupees, called the nominal value of the share. So once the company starts running and doing business in the market, it may earn the profits. It may earn profit, it may not earn profit. It depends on the running of the company conditions under which the company is running. So if the company runs in profit, then every year, either once in a year or twice in a year or thrice in a year, company distributes the profits, a part of the profit of the company among all the 
the shareholders. So this part of the profit that is uh, uh, that is distributed among the shareholders is called dividend dividend declared by the company. Dividend declared by the company. I am again repeating the profit which is distributed among the shareholders is called dividend declared by the company. So this dividend is a percentage of the face value. Means suppose the face value of one share is 100 rupees and company declares a dividend of 10 percent, it means it will give 10 rupees as a profit to the shareholder if the face value of the share is 100 rupees. So now the, the amount of dividend declared by the company depends on the profit earned by the company. If, it, if the company earns large amount of profit, then it will declare a, uh, a greater amount of dividend. If it does not, then it will declare a lesser amount of dividend. If it runs in loss, it may not declare any dividend also. So, once the company starts giving profits, the demand of the share increases. The more and more people want to purchase the share of the uh, company. Now, uh, yes, I can explain you on the board by two. Uh, later on, first you listen to the idea behind the shares, uh, then I will uh, share the point board also. So, you see, if the demand of the share, uh, sorry, but income is given, uh, yes, yes, you see this dividend, the total amount of dividend uh, earned by a person in the form of profit of the company is called income of the person. For example, suppose the face value of one share of a company is 100 and a person is holding 10 shares and company declared a dividend of 10 percent. That means face value of 10 shares is 1000 rupee. Face value of 10 shares. That means nominal value of the shares is 1000 rupee and company declared a dividend of 10 percent. So how much this person will get? Ten percent of 1000 rupee. That means it is 100 rupee. So this 100 rupee is called the income of the person. This is called income of the person or it is, uh, I have not committed, I have not not, uh, okay. I have not not uh, let me see. Once they do that, now this 
the face value. And sometimes the face value and the market value both are equal. So we see that the shares are sold at par. They are sold at par. So I'm again repeating if the market value more than the face value is called shares sold above par or they are sold at a premium. If the market value is less than the face value, par means equal. Okay? Equal. And if the market value is less than the face value, so we say that the shares are sold below par. And if the market value and face value are equal, we say that shares are sold at par. Means at the same price, uh, means market value and face value they are equal. Means they are at par to each other. They are equal to each other. So, what we see, whether a person purchases a share uh, above par or below par, uh, share brokers or the agents, Purchase and sell shares. You can state the purchasing and selling of shares for the uh, people. They charge certain amount of commission on it, which is known as brokerage. Okay? So, what I was telling you that if, uh, that it is immaterial for the company whether a person is purchasing the shares above par or below par, the company always gives dividends on its face value only. For example, suppose the face value of a share is rupees 100 and the market value of the share is 150 rupees and a man purchases 10 shares. That means the market value of the 10 shares is 150 into 10 means 1500 rupees. But the nominal value of the share remained as 10 shares into 100 face value of each share as 100. So it will remain as 1,000 rupees. So company will give you dividend on 1,000 rupees and not on 1,500 rupees. Because company is not concerned at what price you are purchasing the shares from the market. Company will give a dividend on the face value of the shares. So, so you see, so uh, these shares, this, uh, uh, this, uh, amount of money that you require to purchase shares from the market is called your investment. That is called your investment. And the amount of dividend that you get from the company it is called your income. So, you see, dividend is always given on the face value and not on the market value. Means company is not concerned at what price you are purchasing the share from the market. Company is concerned with the face value of the, on, of the share only and it will give you dividend on the face value of the share. It will not give you dividend on the market value. But when we purchase share at a price much above the market value, face value, then the percentage of our income decreases. For example, if you compare what is the my investment and how much income I am getting from the company, then the market value, then, then the percentage naturally will fall because you are purchasing the share at a higher value, but you are getting the same income with, uh, on the face value. That means there is no increase in the income, even if you are purchasing the uh, share at the market value. Therefore, the profit, your profit, or the if you calculate how much income are you getting on the investment, then that becomes less than the actual value. So, when we compare our income with respect to our investment, it is, it is called return, return on the investment. It is called return or profit on the investment. So, profit is always calculated on the market value, not on the face value provided the face value and market value are same, okay? So, <coughs> so you see the total amount of money the company uh, requires or the amount of money that is invested into the company is called the capital stock of the company. It is 
called capital stock or and the and the number of shares purchased by any person is called the stock or they are and these persons are called stockholders or shareholders and as i have told you the profit as gained by the company which is distributed among the shareholders as shareholders is called dividend and the face value is always decided by the company directors or as uh, or the people who are directly involved in running the company and face value is also known as nominal value or the printed value of the share and the market value the web price at which these shares are brought these shares are uh, these shares are sold in the market just you are not able to see market value is decided by the uh, by the share market on this demand if the demand is uh, very high the market value will the demand is low market value will fall that means the market value will be decided by the demand of the shares in the company okay so market value keeps on fluctuating in a particular day market value may vary 10 times in a day suppose the share market uh, starts at 10 o'clock in the market in the morning and you talk to the market share uh shares from the market then the market value within this 10 am to 3 pm the market value may, may change 10 times depending on the demand if the demand increases in a day the share may the uh, market value may go on increasing but if, uh, if there is no demand of the share the value may fall on the same thing that means the market value keeps on fluctuating each and every moment of the Uh, of the days that means the uh, days on which the shares can be purchased or sold in the market okay so uh, now we shall be i'll be giving you some short uh, some uh, formulas to solve such questions and uh, some abbreviations you just do uh, to uh, make this more so first of all all of you write down f v f v means Face value. Face value. F V means face value. I am writing on the board. Can you see me writing? Yes, sir. Can you see? S P as a nominal value. Nominal value. Can you see this part? Yes, sir. On the can you can you see what I am writing? Yes, sir. I have written. I am full of radical. Yes. So this face value and nominal value they are same thing. Right, percentage as rate of dividend. Okay, rate of 
selesai. Oke. Okay. I think. I think all of you have written, all of you have written the formula, I think. Uh, have, you, have you all written the formula? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, we are uh, going to discuss yes, some questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Okay, sir. Uh, so, oh, see the score that we are going to discuss some questions from the exercise. See that question number one. Okay, you have solved. Anapandi, you have solved. No problem. 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 Shares of rupees 10 each available at rupees 2.50 premium means 200 shares in value of n. Number of shares is 200. Number of shares is 200. Sagar and Mishra can you see me and hear me? Raise your hand, raise this. You can hear me. Okay. So number of shares n is 200. Write down face value as rupees 10. Face value is FB. You will write okay? just FB. And premium is given as premium. Those who have done it is very nice. Yes. Uh,
second part of this question second part is 20 find the investment required for or required the cost of 20 shares that means number of shares is 20 base value ah yes correct on the screen this side is correct base value or nominal value you can write fb or nb as is seen and discount discount equal to yes correct karu mitra correct on the par vyas Market value you find out first. Market value is 15 minus 1 rupee 50 paise is rupee 30.5 Okay. Once you have done that, find out the investment. Ah, Anna Pandey. Invest. Yes. Now you are correct. N into market value equal to how much? Just you write down question number two. First part, number of shares is 450. Base value is rupees 10. And rate of dividend is 7.5%. We we'll write annual income. The rate of dividend is number of shares in the face value. That is equal to 7.5500 into 450 into 10. Now to simplify, so this will become 75 into 450 upon 100. Now simplify all of you. How much are you getting? The green 75 into 450 divided by 100 divided by 450 divided by 100 is coming in 7.5 kilos. That is 50, 7.5 kilos. That is your income. Okay, yes, correct. Others are correct now. Yes, good. Good. Now, can you? Yes, Anup Marvyas, you are correct. Call uh, question one part B. One part B, uh, 200. You see, question number one, just all of you hear me. Question number one, part B. It is written purchasing rupees 200 stock. So, it is root, cut down that rupee. It is number of stocks. That means number of shares is 200. So, it will not be rupees before that. Okay. Purchasing 200 stock, yielding 9% at rupees one, at 105. Question number one, part three, I am repeating, rectifying. Question number one, Part B, before the letter two, before the number 200 is written uh, rupees, cancel that rupees because it is the number of shares and it is not the uh, value of the share, okay? So, yes, 200 into 105, yes, that is correct. Correct. Charu Mitchell, you are correct. Charu Mitchell, you are correct. Then come to, come to question number three. Uh, third part, second and third part are exactly same, so I am discussing this third part so that you can do the second part also. Okay? Just you see the question. It is given. Find the annual dividend on 50. Yarubhikyan, you are correct. 50 Tata bills, 4%. 4%. 
then in bracket it is given 6 rupees shares at 6 rupees 25 paise that means you have to understand about the first step 50 tata means means there are 50 shares number of shares is 50 of tata means company tata means is the name of the company 4% 4% is dividend is 4% and in the bracket, it is written rupees uh, 6. Rupees 6 means what? The face value of the shares is rupees 6. Yes, one is rupees 5, you are right. Face value of the shares is rupees 6. And the market value, market value is rupees 6.25. So, because you have to find out the annual dividend, we are not concerned about the market value. We shall see the face value only. So the income, income you write as number of shares, uh, rate of sorry, rate of dividend, into number of shares into this value. Rate of dividend is four percent is four by hundred. Yes, correct. Or yes, yes, correct. Four by hundred into number of shares fifty into face value will be six. Now simplify and find out. So in this way, we will try to uh, solve all the remaining parts of this question number two. And uh, question number three, write down the sum of money obtained by selling 6 rupees, 100 shares is 112 means you have to find the selling price. Selling price is uh, when a share is sold, it is sold at the market. A value only. So whatever is the formula for investment, that is also the formula for selling. Selling price or it is also called as sale proceeds. Selling price is also given sometimes as sale proceeds. I am repeating this. When you are selling something, some share, and you are getting money by selling the shares at the market value, Anita Mahapatra, you are correct. Yes, good. And Shika Singh, you are correct. Ah, Sambhati Gupta, yes. You are correct. Mar Vyas, you are correct. Okay, I'll send the syllabus on the group. Uh, I'll send. I'll send the syllabus. Yes. So, because if one, uh, two o'clock, I am going to talk today. Next time, we shall. Next class we shall uh, start for the uh, uh, next.